टॉप फाइव नेटवर्किंग सर्टिफिकेट्स इसमें जिमी है कि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोग्रेस इन योर नेटवर्किंग करियर इफ यू आर जस्ट थिंकिंग टू गेट इन योर नेटवर्किंग बट यू डोंट नो वेयर टू स्टार्ट दीज आर द टॉप फाइव सर्टिफिकेशन विच विल प्रोग्रेस यू इन द नेटवर्किंग विच यू हेल्प यू टू गेट इन द नेटवर्किंग विच विल टीच योर नेटवर्किंग विच विल रेज योर पे एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू विल बी अ हैप्पी नेटवर्क इंजीनियर Everybody want to become a network engineer. Everybody want to go to a Cisco route. Indeed, yes. So let's find out if you are thinking to come into the networking, but don't know where to start. If you are writing in a networking career as a network engineer, but want to progress, but want to raise your pay at the end of the day. If you are a good network engineer with a good certification, indeed, yes, you will progress. You will go ahead. So just stay with me. I'm gonna reveal the top. Five certification for a networking in a quick note. There is no C C N A on this certification. Indeed, yes, these are the top five best certification in all rounder in all rounder. But there is no C C N A. Let's go to the screen and then let me show you the top five certification. <laughs> Number fifth best certification for the networking is Microsoft Certified Solution Expert or M C S T. Before it was known as Microsoft Certified System Engineer, it MCSC. It is an international certification. So due to some country law, you cannot use the word engineer to become an engineer. You have to go some kind of paperwork. You need some kind of recognized degree. You can just you cannot just call yourself as a Microsoft engineer without having any kind of bachelor degree, only having a certificate. So Microsoft changed their name to Microsoft Certified Solution Expert. By the way, I really like system engineer name more better than the solution expert. Anyways, so if you see any jobs out there, they are always in the jobs. I mean, even in 2015, they only post the jobs with the name called Microsoft Certified System Engineer. It's very rarely I see in a full form they said they said that they need a certified solution expert. They always 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 use the name certified solution uh, certified system engineer because it's an Really, very famous name. Everybody, I mean, whenever you ask any kind of uh, CEO or the IT employer, they will say MCSC stand for Microsoft Certified System Engineer. It's very rarely they will answer the correct name, which is Microsoft Certified Solution Expert. You know, enough with the name. So I, I just. Try to clarify in the begin begin. Do not become confused. Microsoft Certified Solution Expert or Microsoft Certified System Engineer. They both are same, but in short form we use MCSE. So you will be thinking how the goodness of having MCSE is, is the best certification for networking. Let me tell you one thing. To become an MCSE, basically MCSE, you configure Microsoft Windows Server, Desktop Server. You become a Desktop Support Engineer or Solution Expert, or you get MCSE in Private Cloud, Data uh, Platform, Business Intelligence, Messaging, SharePoint Communication. But but but, if you wanna progress in the networking, always go for the MCSE Server Infrastructure. Basically, it's for a Windows Server 2012. But my opinion is that wait for Windows Server 2010. Windows Server 2012 will be will be outdated. Not a lot of company had implemented. A lot of the company currently, the enterprise are currently using the Windows Server 2008. But nobody implemented a Windows Server 2012. Now all the hopes, now all the bets are on the Windows Server 2010. Indeed, yes, Windows Server 2010 is coming. Anyways, I do not really care if you go with the Windows Server 2012 or Windows Server 2008. Basically, that's already outdated. I think Microsoft is not offering uh, the self for Windows Server 2008. You can get a self in Windows Server 2012 or the upcoming Windows Server 2000. 10 sorry windows server 10 so confusing they basically uh, um, at the end of this year you can get certified in windows server 10 or still the ongoing certification for the mcsc windows server 12 2012 Basically, to become a MCSC, you need to pass this five exam. It depends. I mean, one exam costs one hundred fifty dollar. If you are in US, it depend on the location. So basically, it means that you need to pass five exam one hundred fifty times. 
five equal it will cost you 750 bucks plus you have to buy i mean five materials from amazon.com for this all i mean for studying it will uh, it will cost you around another 250 dollar for five books basically it will cost you 1000 dollar for the material so to become an mcse you at least need 100 bucks in your back pocket and then Thing to become an MCSC. If you really become an MCSC, you are valuable. Even you don't have experience in Germany or in France, if you really do not have any real experience, but you hold the MCSC, they are really willing to hire you without experience, and that they are really willing to invest money on you to teach you how to work on the structure. So basically, MCSC is the guy, and um, the MCSC, the solution expert, is the guy who work on server who implement. Plus, there is a lot of networking involved, like installing and configuring server. Indeed, yes. But really, when you will lay out the server in a small business environment, ten server, you have to network it. So this will teach you the fundamental networking for small business for the enterprise level. So number four certificate is Red Hat Certified Engineer. You will be thinking we can understand about the MCSC, but what the goodness of having Red Hat Certified Engineer exam will teach us. So so to become a Red Hat Certified Engineer, you have to hold a certificate called RSCS. First, if you wanna become a Red Hat Certified Engineer, you need to hold the Red Hat Certified System Administrator Certificate. Basically, this exam will cost you around 250 bucks, and then this exam will cost you around 450 bucks, so it will cost you 650 bucks. Basically, you can see, you can just go to the Red Hat and then just, I mean, Google Red Hat Certified System Engineer. This is the number four exam. So basically, an RSCE is a capable of RSCS tax plus following. So if you want to know, I mean, what the goodness of heaven RSCS a is just go to their page and they find out but we are focusing on the head that certified engineer so let us see configuring statistic route packer filtering and network address translation you see this is the main fundamental the key model networking setting kernel runtime parameter uh, boring i need to be honest it's really freaking hard configuring uh, configuring an internet small computer interface iSCSI producing and delivery reports on system u utilization using uh, shell scripting um, I like scripting and that's all you can read all basically Red Hat certified engineer is the king of networking he certified in networking with working on a Linux if you don't know what the hell is Red Hat Red Hat is an enterprise Linux. If you want the free Red Hat Linux, you can go with the CentOS. To use the Red Hat Linux, I do not know about the licensing price. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I really didn't check. But it's freaking expensive. Nobody is going to use Red Hat certified Linux on their normal small business. It is for the enterprise Linux. In this year, Linux is much better than the Windows Server. Why? Because Windows Server always have problem the the guy who manage windows server they really do not have much of the free time but the guy who manage the linux system or the linux server or the Red Hat linux server to be honest with you they have a lot of free time because they really do not need to manage the linux server the same way you manage the windows server linux is robust linux do not crash linux do not give you very stupid problem Plus this ha this certificate, the Red Hat Certified Engineer, if you put on your resume, you can see it teaches you so much good stuff about networking. So let's go to number three. Number five is MCSC. Number four is Red Hat Certified Engineer. And let's go to number third certification is CCNP. You'll be thinking why the hell I have skipped CCNA. If you are CCNA, you are not valuable. CCNA is a certificate. To be honest with you, I will just put in the rubbish bin rather than putting on my resume. Basically, CCNA is a certification which will teach you networking, but it will teach you Cisco networking. You cannot work on a Juniper networking or you cannot, to be honest with you, work on a Microsoft server networking or the Red Hat. Basically, it will specialize only in Cisco networking is a good thing, bad thing, to be honest with you, stay away from it. If you get a CCNP, if you get a CCNP, then you're valuable. So, basically, if you want to get a CCNP, of course, you need to get a CCNA. I'm saying CCNA is not valuable if you only hold a CCNA. If you hold a CCNP, then it's good. If, then just go ahead and get a CCNA and a CCNP. So, of course, I will just thinking that if you want to get a uh, CCNP, of course, you will be holding a CCNA. If you're not 
just get a CCNA. CCNA basically it have two exam and CCNP have three exam. To be honest with the exam price depend around the, I think the exam cost, I think 160 US dollar, but you have to check and be and then make sure, make sure that Cisco is updating their new exam for the CCNP. Basically, you can see January 29, 2015, the last day to take the test. So, so do not take the outdated test. Basically, do not buy the outdated material from Amazon. Buy the new books from Amazon. To become a CCNP, basically, you can, I mean, work, you can specialize in the Cisco IP routing or switch, Cisco switch and networking or troubleshooting and maintaining Cisco IP network it's up to you basically and then you can just go to the self study material I mean it's really good and then you can find a more detail about it basically Cisco certified network professional CC and PE routing and switching certification validate the ability to plan implement verify troubleshoot local and wide area enterprise network work uh, club collaboratively with the specialists on advanced security voice wireless and video solution it's all kind of a uh, bunch of horse crap, but at the end of the day, it's really valuable. So, number 30, CCNP. Um, number 5, MCSC. Number 4, Red Certified System Engineer. Number 3, CCNP. And number 2 is Comptia Network Plus. I know a lot of you guys, you're going to bitch and moan. You're saying, Jimmy, what the hell is this Comptia Network Plus is doing on this top 5 certi network certification video? I know you will be thinking that I'm stupid. Indeed, I am. Why? Because I'm telling you the real, real certificate which will teach you stuff, which will move you ahead. Why the hell I didn't put CCNA? Instead, I use network. Plus. If you get a CCNA, it will just specialize or teach you about Cisco networking. But if you get a Comptia Network Plus, basically it's a vendor neutral certificate. Basically, it means it does not focus on one technology you can read here companies such as dell hp rico sharp and zurek recommend and require company and network for their networking basically i mean basically the net company and network plus is a self managed by microsoft hp all this house crap good company out there so basically they do not focus on one kind of equipment if you go for a juniper you will learn about juniper if you go for a cisco you just learn about cisco but if you just get a vendor neutral general networking certificate or if you are just thinking to get into the networking if you really don't know how to start your career in the networking you just got a bachelor in networking at the end of the day most of the bachelor in networking do not teach you any real world they teach you outdated 10 years old material to be honest with you, if you get a BSc in networking or computing, they will be teaching you hub. Hub. If, if some kind of bachelor degree are still teaching or associate degree about hub, just run away. Just, I mean, leave that degree and then basically just try to get a computer network plus. Basically, it's a really good exam. Uh, this exam will cost you around $269, much cheaper than the, these three exams. Basically, it's a 90 question. If you if you are really new, if you are really new to networking, this certification is for the who are really new to networking. If you have three or four years experience in networking, um, it will not help you on your resume, but it will help you to refresh your memory about networking. It will teach you basically this certificate uh, every three year it change. So at the end of the day, you will learning new thing every three year. Basically, this certificate is valid for three years. MCSE is valid forever. Basically, right? That is even the same. CCNP. I'm not sure basically they do not say anything but Comptia Network Plus is valid for three years every three years you need to certify or you need to show your ability that you have the current knowledge basically here they say you need a nine month networking experience but most of the guys who got a Comptia Network Plus they do not have any networking experience they just basically try to learn if you're really newbie you want to get to networking just forget this three certificate just do not focus MCSC later focus later just number one thing you should focus on the Comptia Network Plus. So number one certificate CCIE. You will be thinking why the hell I didn't put the CCA. CCA is a certificate from the high, the most high end networking certificate in the world. CCA, which stands for right Cisco. I don't know what the hell, some kind of architecture. CCA is a certificate that nobody has ever taken. According to my knowledge, I can be wrong. Do not sue me. Basically, we just search CCA on the Google. Let me show you CCA. 
they know CCA. Let me show you Cisco CCA. Basically, you can see it's a PhD in Cisco networking certification. I, I, I think I really don't know CCA or something like that. Anyway, hell with that kind of certification. Let, let me just give a, I really do not remember the exact name. Not this one. Mm -hmm. C C C C N A professional C C N P C C I E. Oh yeah, C C A R. I'm sorry. I'm extremely sorry. It's it's called C C uh, C C A R Architect Certification. This is the most high end certification in the net in the Cisco networking or in any networking. Basically, it's it's a PhD of networking. To be honest with you, I didn't found anybody have this kind of certification. I did a Google search. I tried to. I mean do the search on the LinkedIn the jobs market to see if there somebody have listed in their resume CCAR I didn't found I don't know why the hell nobody is taking basically this is very hard certification so to be honest with you the basically you can see entry here the CCNA stand in associate let me zoom in here the professional the CC and P here the CCIE here this one CCAR so help with CCAR just let's go to the CCIE to become a CCIE, you need to hold a Cisco certification, of course, and then you need to hold a CCNP, and then you need to have a CCIE. Like the CCNA or CCNP, you can just study and then just go to get give the exam. So that's all five certificates for the networking. They are the top best five certification in the networking, the MCSC, the Red Hat Certified Engineer, the CCNP, the Comptia Network Plus, and then a CCIE. I hope you had liked this my video, the top five certification for a network. If you're new, be just go with the Comptia. A plus if you want to progress just go with the CCIE and the CCNP if you want to specialize in networking just go with the MCSC or write a certified engineer that's all it's me Gmail subscribe to my channel if you hate me just hate me if you like me just like me if you have any question just leave in the comments box below and then indeed I will answer it it's me Gmail bye bye